My name's Dr Christy Bell and I'm a dietitian with Lady Salento Children's Hospital and a Senior Research Fellow with the University of Queensland. Nutrition is really important for children with cerebral palsy because adequate nutrition is essential for optimal growth um, and developmental outcomes. Nutritional status for children with cerebral palsy is often assessed through measurements of growth and weight gain and also through looking at body composition which is the amount of fat and um, muscle mass that children have. When measuring growth of children with cerebral palsy, a direct measurement of height is the first measurement of choice. So if a child can stand nice and tall, then we'll measure their height directly. If they're unable to stand nice and tall, we might be able to lay them nice and flat and measure their length. However, if a child has scoliosis or joint contractures, then we can look at measuring another part of their body. Knee height is the measurement of choice, really, if we're looking at alternative measurements, because it is the most straightforward to measure and it gives us the most accurate estimate of height. Uh, you can use a knee height caliper to do this, and we measure the distance between the top of the knee and under the foot. Body weight is an important measure because body weight is probably the most sensitive measure to whether a child's nutritional intake is adequate or not. There's a number of different ways you can measure body weight with all different types of scales that are available. So there might be scales to stand on or there's scales to sit on, or we've even got scales where we can weigh children in their wheelchair. Once we have measures of body weight and height, we then want to look at body composition. Now body composition is important because it is highly variable in children with cerebral palsy. Many children with cerebral palsy may have reduced lean tissue or reduced muscle mass. Um, due to low levels of physical activity. And these children will sometimes also have high levels of body fat. So if you're concerned about the way your child is growing in terms of body weight or how they're growing in height over time, then see a health professional and they'll be able to do a much more detailed assessment. Don't be afraid to ask the hard questions because children with CP do grow differently, but you want to know is, is your child growing at their maximum potential?